Okay, lesson 8-2. Okay, we are going to be talking about patterns that we see in addition. Okay, and it pretty much comes down to even and odd numbers. If you remember that even numbers are end in 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. Odd numbers end in 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. Okay, if you think about even and odd, we always have to be able, if it's going to be even, we have to take the number we have, let's say we have those two, right, for our number two here, and we have to separate them into two separate groups, it has to be even. When we add one more, we get to three, right, now we have three objects, right, three objects, we can't make it even anymore. We add one more, we're at four, and it's even again. We add one more, and now we're off balance, we're at five. Okay, now we're at five. If we add one more, we have a total of six, we're even again. If we add one more, because once we're even, we have three and three. If we have one more to add, we're not going to be even anymore, because we only have one. We need two every time to be even. So now seven is odd. But of course, what happens when I get eight? Now we're even again. And then when I get one more, I'm going to be odd because we're gonna have five and four, okay? So it kind of bounces back and forth. When we don't have anything, it's even. When we have one, it's odd. When we have two, it's even. Three, odd. Four, even. 5 odd, 6 even, 7 odd, 8 even, 9 odd, and if we have 10, we're even, but again, what number's in the one place? 0. And we just cycle through again. 11. Okay, 1, 2, 3, okay, so we have 5 in each one. Here's 11. Okay, again, what number's in the one place? One, it's odd. It only matters what's in the one place. 12, okay, we have 12. We don't really have to think six and six, we just have to look at this number because what number's in the ones place? The two, okay? So let's take a look at the worksheet. Hi. Hi. I'm looking for Mary Ann Watson, where is she? Is she in extended care? Yeah, she teaches, um, CCD. Oh, 